Okay, to show you how to use Kirchhoff laws and what uh, how to apply our strategy here, I decided to solve this problem here. This is the problem 33 from the textbook, and you have this circuit. As you can see, you have guys three three loops, and you have five six right. You have six six resistors here, and I'm going to solve for this one so according to what you learned to our strategy the first thing that i have to do is actually to label everybody here in this circuit i'm going to put in some other color let's see uh, let's put like pink pink would be nice let's label this as for example a b c d E, e, F, G, eight. Let's put the lower cases letters here. Let's see what I'm going to use. I'm going to use don't invent. It's going to be A. Uh, come on, B, C, D, E, F, G and H okay da, 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 da. Uh, now I'm, I'm, go I'm going to assume currents here guys so I'm saying I'm going to put in, in red my currents here I'm saying that the current that I have here is going to be I sub 1 the one here is going to be I sub 2 um, I'm assuming this this direction here I sub 3 I sub 4 I sub 5 so this is going to be I sub 1 I sub 2 I sub 5 Y Y sub 3 why disappear I sub 4 and I'm saying that this in this in this direction. Okay, then I'm going to choose the loops. I'm to solve. Wow, I'm going to to choose. Doesn't matter, guys. But I'm going to choose. I'm going to put in in green here. I'm going to choose this loop here. And this I'm going to call loop number two and I'm going to to choose this loop here I'm going to call this loop number one and I don't know why this stupid computer is erasing my my arrows here and then I'm going to solve this you start to solve this problem right there and uh, let's see how I'm going to do let's start here with junction B guys okay so I'm going to start here with junction B Okay, I'm going to start with this junction here and I'm going to write the Kirchhoff I'm going to use the Kirchhoff's first rule to write the to write down the equations for this junction here this is going to be uh, I1 positive minus I4 and minus I five 
oh no sorry uh, i1 uh, plus i2 plus i3 minus i3 this equals zero okay well 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 we can actually put this here we can write i1 is i'm going to use at some point since i'm interested in this i1 is going to be equals to i2 plus i3 let me put one let's call this equation one let's go to the next junction 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 C junction C is going to be I2 minus I4 and minus I5 this equals 0 one very interesting point here since these two resistors here right the resistors r5 and r6 are in series that means that the same current goes through them right that means that i sub 5 here is equal to i sub 6 so actually i can rewrite this here as i2 equals minus i4 oh sorry not minus i4 plus i6 and i6 is actually 1.4 is 1.4 amperes so this is my equation my equation 2 let's leave these guys here and let's write uh, I'm really sorry guys I'm going to change here wait I'm going to to make three loops I'm going to start from left to right I'm going to call this one loop one. One is more small change here. I make a I made a mistake. Uh, I'm going to call this one the loop second loop, and I'm going to call this the third loop. Okay, so I'm going to first loop loop one and I'm going from C D E F C C D E F E F and back to C okay so going clockwise start from point C and ending in point C let's write let's write all the equations there so I have minus right minus I5 R5 minus I sub 6 R sub 6 so this is Ohm's law. Remember, guys, I'm putting directly Ohm's law here for the difference in potential for ohmic components. Mm, plus I4, I sub 4, R4 equals to 0. If we solve this here, Substituting the values here, right? Those are the same. I sub 5 and I sub 6 are the same. We can actually find 
that I4 here is equals to 1.05 amperes so we have one result here we, we can substitute now this i4 here we can substitute in the previous in equation 2 let's go back here we can calculate then i2 we just have to substitute here I'm going to substitute. Let's just write here to make deadly sure. Maybe people don't not paying attention. So I'm substitute substituting this result here that is expressed here in two in, in three. I'm substituting in two. So this is going to give I two equals two point. 45 amperes and this is another result I'm going to need later but I already have like two two currents mm, that is getting better I'm solving step by step okay and uh, now I'm going to choose the other loop I'm going for this loop the second loop here I'm going to solve the second loop again I'm going to go for a clockwise direction here starting in B let me write this here loop second loop loop 2 We just have to be consistent. So I'm starting in B C F G B C F G B C F G and back to B. And I can write this. Let me see if I'm not wrong. B C F G. Okay, going back. I can write this as using Ohm's law. I have minus I sub 2 R2 let's see if it's true guys remember according to our convention if I go this way this is uh, it's going to be negative negative and this one positive and R3 positive okay minus I4 R sub 4 plus I3 I sub 3 R sub 3 this equals to 0 chan chan. I already calculate I found expressions for I sub 2 and I sub 4 or I can substitute like three I can substitute these values here right that I just calculated and this is going to give me I3 you can do by yourself later I'm not doing this is easy right this is going to give me 10 point 85 amperes oh we already have three almost there almost there okay now guys I have ah I have very good I can substitute see you have these results here I can call this five action I can go I can put these results in the first equation right that I obtained from the Kirchhoff's first rule so that means I'm going to substitute uh, the five
five five four and five in one uh, let's see yeah four and five let me write right here I'm going to visit to equation the result uh, for n five in one and this is going to give me i1 equals to 2.45 plus 10.85 so this is going to give me i1 is going to give me 13 Point three amperes. Almost there. And finally, if I go to loop three, I can finally find what uh what the problem actually asked me. And remember, I'm going to. Uh, a B G H A A B G H A and as I can go I can see actually it's not A I didn't I didn't do A. Doesn't matter, it can be A. So it's going to be minus minus I sub one R one minus I three sub three. Uh, R sub 3 and plus the electromotive force and this is going to be equals 0 I have this I have this and I have the resistances so I can calculate I just substitute here and calculate this electromotive force and then this is going to give me oh this is a little bit to the right just to be a little bit paranoid about symmetry here so this is going to be equals to 48.3 volts next time i'm going to solve this uh, wait i can solve and this is the result this is the result of this using Kirchhoff's law uh, clearly we can do exactly the same guys right, so this is the pro uh, the problem asked me to calculate the EMF right that's I'm supposed to put here we can do exactly the same using the techniques that we know right guys I did this here just for fun we can start for example calculating we can use this uh, uh, to simplify this uh, this problem right using the what I put? Put this one. okay here okay let's try to solve this problem using exactly uh, the same problem using a different technique now this is using uh, the equivalent resistance technique so I'm going to start by using by simplifying these two since they are in series I just have to sum them up if so these two resistance here are going to be um, five six I have to sum them up they're eight plus four this is going to be 12 ohms Okay, and then I have this circuit here, 
again then I have two resistances in parallel here I have to solve them using what you know for two resistances in parallel this is going to be inverse of the of the sum of their inverses if you do that this is going to be I'm going to be to call this R4 by 6 and this is going to be R4 uh, multiplied by R5 6 over R sub 4 plus R sub 5 6 this if you do this this is going to be 48 I'm I'm keeping the rational here uh, to avoid like round off errors guys this is very common you start like rounding off and when you see you have kind of weird result I'm going to keep the rational and then we can do this at the end okay and then you have this circuit here and then again you have two resistance in series this R2 plus the one that I just finished calculating so I'm going to have here is going to be R2 and 2, 4, 5, 6 I just have to sum up this R2 plus the one that I just calculated R456 I'm just using the, the, the index here is representing uh, which res resistor I'm operating at the moment okay summing up this two this is going to give me 62 over 62 over 7 ohms then you have this circuit here again you have then this R3 in parallel with this resistance that I just calculate calculated so the equivalent here that I'm going to call two so R2 3 4 5 6 this is in parallel again this is going to be R3 then R2 4 5 6 divide by this uh, their sum R3 plus R sub 2 4 Five, six solving this this is going to give me <laughs> how much is going to give me this 3119 ohms and then I have this last one I just have to sum it up to find the equivalent resistance of this circuit that was complicated so I just have to sum I'm going to call R sub 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is going to be the R1 uh, in series with this resistance I just have to sum it up this is going to be R sub 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then this is going to give me 69, 19 ohms. And if you remember, guys, we know this the current here in this component in R1. This is 13 is 13.3. We just calculated before. We can easily here 
see that this uh, we can write this as being i1 multiply by this resistance here one two three four five six and this is going to give me 48.3 volts exactly the same like the i, I what i found using the other technique.